These hilarious pictures show that what goes around really does comes around as bad parkers finally get their comeuppance. Creative victims have hit back with everything from graffiti to cling film as well as the classic passive-aggressive note. Other motorists returned to their vehicles to find them surrounded by shopping trolleys or carefully coated in foil. In one particularly egregious example of poor parking, a silver car can be seen perched in the middle of a helicopter landing pad with the aircraft left hovering overhead in wait. A Audi owner was slightly less fortunate after coming back to their car and discovering that it had been attacked with pickaxes. Earlier this year a study found that motorists are so bad at parking that almost a fifth of the space available for cars goes to waste. Experts reviewed 120 roads where curbside parking bays were full and there was no space between any two vehicles to fit an additional car. They calculated how much extra space would be available if every car on the street used Park Assist technology that automatically guides the vehicle into a space. The study found that across the country up to 17% of parking space on streets enough for thousands of cars could be freed up if all drivers used the technology. London and Birmingham had the greatest average distances between parked vehicles with the potential to increase capacity by 20%. Brighton had the most efficient parkers, with 11% extra capacity left on full streets in the city centre. A total of 47% of drivers claimed poor parking by other drivers had been a major frustration in the past year, according to the research. Of 2,000 adults questioned for the study, 38% said they had deliberately left space around their car to stop another vehicle parking next to it. 31% said they had picked a parking spot because of the quality of the cars on either side, while 13% had parked over two spaces to save a spot for someone else and 11% had put bins in the road to keep a space clear. The study also found 10% of drivers had parked in a space that was too small so that other people could not move their cars. Some 73% said they deliberately left space behind their car to maneuver, according to the study commissioned by Direct Line Car Insurance. Just over a fifth of motorists said they had left their vehicles further away from home to avoid having to parallel park in a challenging space while a similar proportion had asked a friend or member of their family to park for them. A total of 18% of drivers said they had given up trying to park because they were put off because someone was watching.